What's wrong? gave me yesterday, man, that sh at me stealing all motherfucking night. You know, Mr. Charles, you know, I like to help you, but you got to help yourself, you know what I'm saying? What you talking about, man? Huh? You know, Mr. Charles, I like to help a damsel in distress. A damsel? You see it, this is this is me. Yes, sir. Back with another one. Man, we got, we got another crazy one, man. Another crazy one. We got to protect the kids, man. They are future. I know they're growing up a little different, well, a lot different than how we grew up. They kind of a little heartless at times, but we got we got to show them that love. We got to show them that love. We got to actually care about them, not just be out here having kids just because we're trying to keep a hold of this person, a hold of that person. We got to really have these kids when you really want them and you're going to be a responsible adult. But I'm going to go ahead and dive into it. But before I dive into it, make sure you like, man. Make sure you comment, man. Make sure you subscribe, man. Man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. Hit that notification bell too, now. Get the video when they drop. Get that drop when they drop. So we can run it up. Let's run it up. 7th, 2023, at around 6.45 p.m., police received a call regarding the desperate cries of a child in need. Upon their arrival, they discovered a vulnerable five-year-old boy alone and crying for help outside an apartment building. Yeah. Hi, did you call? Yes, I did. Hey, y'all, come here. What happened now? There was a little kid um, saying help. Um, um, a little what? A little kid um, next door saying help. Um, my mom. My mommy got. Right. Mommy met. Somebody help me. Were they outside, inside? Um, the kid was outside. The, the kid was outside? How old was the kid? He's, he was like five. Okay. There's, did they bring him back inside? or? Um, um, a person, a came. person came. Okay. And there. Was it back in? Is that it? What's wrong? <laughs> bro, that's so sad, bro. Hello. Bro. Police. Police department. Hello. She went to the store. Police department. Bro, that's so sad, bro. I feel for that little man. Where'd they go? What store did they go to? The Apple Street. The what? Apple. The Apple Store? It, it's close to our house. Yeah, it's right down the street. How long have you been Keith Foster, South Jackson. Where's he at? Yeah. Does he live with you? Yeah. Did your mom and dad both go to the store together? No. My dad's at my papa's house. Your dad's at your papa's house? Do you know the phone number there? Yeah. You do? Where's the phone? You have a phone in here? No. No? I, I saw your phone. Okay. So your mom left you, went to the Big Apple store? How long has she been gone? You don't know? How old are you? Five. Five? What's your name? People have been breaking into our house, but... People have been breaking into your house? Yeah. they messing up our house. Bro. This is real sad, bro. That's real sad. Like, I can't never think. I'm, I'm going to say never. I can't never think about leaving my kids when they was that age at the house by themselves. Like, it'll be so much, like, running through my mind. Like, as soon as I ride out, I, I wouldn't be able to 
I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't be able to do it. Maybe because I love my kids so much and I know how it is with kids. They get curious about things. So they end up getting hurt. Somebody could be choking on something, anything. And it's not a parent, though, or any kind of adult, though. That's, that's real sad, bro. And then the kids say people been breaking in their houses, B breaking in their house. Come on now. That's even more reason not to leave your child up by themselves. Come, all that other stuff can be replaced. Your child can't. Sad, man. Oh. See, that could have happened. It could have been somebody else, though. I know you ain't just yell at that child when you the parent. You supposed to be the responsible one. You supposed to be in there and you supposed to took him with you. It don't matter if it was right across the street or not. Anything could happen. Obviously it wasn't right across the street or right there. Because he was doing all that screaming, screaming somebody help me. You Did you hear it? No. That's crazy. And then the first thought in your head was to get mad at him like he really did something wrong. He was scared. I just went over there real quick. Do you have an ID? Yes, sir. Um What's across the street? Right here. Across the street. Can you come over here real quick? This guy, can you come over here real quick? I can't find my freaking ID. Right. What was the rate yes. center? I can't find my ID. Sorry. I'll get your Look, how old are you? 21. You don't know your social? No, sir. Listen, I... I gotta keep it. You gotta get off the phone. I'm Girl, you know your you social. You know you don't file right, the text. He said I gotta get off. You know that by heart. He, oh, yeah. Her. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. All right. Your grandma? Yes, sir. Is she with you? Yes, sir. Is she with you? Yes, she was over with you. Um, yeah, but for a second. yeah, for a sec, she only came over here for a second. What do you live at? I'm. I live on the south side. I don't even live on the east side. I'm out here visiting some friends. So where were you at? At her, at her friend's house, real quick. Where's a friend live? Right across the street. I don't know that. Right, address. right out back. Yeah, literally. Well, we're trying to figure all this out because we got we, we got a five year old kid left home alone. Oh, well, it was only for a couple seconds. Well, well we don't know that. Too. You see that? Grandmas don't be grandma no more. You oh oh it was only for you condoning that. That, that let me know that that what you were doing to your kids, doing that to her when she was small like that. That's why she okay with doing it because she's so desensitized to it. She don't, she think it's right. She think it's, oh, it was only a second. It only take a second. It only take a second for so many things to happen. I mean, we I understand what you're saying. What happens if you have walked out? I, I understand. Listen. I understand. I, I told him all this. Before. I said, I'll be right back. He literally plays the game all day. He was in there playing the game. I said, I'll be right back. I'm about to go over there to your grandma real, real quick. That was it. So do you think this is serious no, or not no. serious? It's, it's serious. Very serious. <laughs> it's very serious. It's you know why would you leave? Do you think you should leave a five-year-old alone? But and why'd you do it? It was for a second. I didn't think it was. Not only is it for a second, then you come back in and you're smelling like weed. So mm -hmm. you leave your five-year-old home alone so you can go smoke weed. And then you come back and then you yell at him. I didn't yell at him. Yeah, you did. I said, so what'd you do or whatever. Anyways, I could run the tape back. It doesn't matter. The point is, is he's crying with the door open. He was wandering crying. Around, wandering around out here. We're Come here. Wandering around out here. Wandering they around both around. mad at him. Why would you scare him? Mommy, mommy, mommy was coming. So, is he your only child? What, is it? what happened? I mean, come on. Leaving a five-year-old home alone. 
Right? And what happened? You got the scale on the table. Mm -hmm. the five year old. It, it makes sense, though. It makes sense. Because she said she's 21. Her son is five. So that means she had him at 16. She was still a child herself. So she's still trying to live her life. I ain't going to say that's her excuse or anything like that. Because that's wrong. That's wrong, man. I, I, Me being the oldest child, the oldest grandchild, I was always babysitting kids. So it's like, I don't know, maybe I look at things different or whatever, but I, I couldn't never do that to my kids. I couldn't never do that. That's just so scary to me, just even the thought of doing it. It just, I've been on talk myself out of it. Which I wouldn't even talk, even talk myself into it. I wouldn't, cause it just ain't worth it to me. If my kids can't come, I can do it later, or I just ain't gonna go. Sit next to your papers. What you say? Your shoe sure back up smelling like weed. There's roaches. I mean, come on. And now you're telling me you don't know your social. Do you have a warrant? No, sir. Tell me now. We're gonna run you in full picture. Say that again. You shouldn't. No, sir. She want to cave his back in. I asked you if you want to come with me. You said See, she's so mad. Me. Now you trying to, you kind of trying to try that little man, but you trying to do it in a like a nice way because the police right there. But you know when you be growing up, all the people say, "Be tough, be tough, do this and do that." Man, this man supposed to be a child right now. People be trying to put them burdens on kids. Like, it ain't no time to be tough right now, bro. Live your life and enjoy being a kid. A lot of us don't get to enjoy being a kid, man. You be grown before you even grown. Is that YouTube? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. My kids be watching that dumb too. All the time, it's on my nerves. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. I don't let them watch it at my house because some of the stuff that it's crazy. How ironic! You're watching YouTube and now you're on YouTube, but it's not for nothing good. <laughs> It's no, annoying. I mean, like, yeah. It's annoying. Like, one day I woke up. Yeah. Mm -mm. One day I woke up and, and it was like three o'clock in the morning and I heard and they all oh, they didn't fell asleep, but it's still on YouTube or they was watching some lady, some Chinese lady eating some chips or eat and eating pickles Girl, and stuff. So all you hear is the crunching noise yeah. and it drove me crazy. And I'm like, oh yeah, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then some of the stuff that they've been watching just ain't even No, turn that yeah, off. No. You can't watch YouTube. You gotta put on Disney or something. Buy yeah, something on Netflix. Yeah, that's horrible. That YouTube is horrible. Oh, yeah, Especially like the YouTube. stuff the kids watch. Right. Yeah. Right. It's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's horrible. Right. 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 Change that. Yeah. Did you know that R. Kelly came out with a new song? That's like 20 minutes long. <laughs> you from jail? Yeah. That was good. He tried to he he tried to small talk with them, keep them calm. He ain't say he ain't do the stuff. You know what I'm saying? But some of the songs he sings though, I can't stand. Like he, oh, I love like, he, that. like he, Now that you listen to it after this, afterwards, after the like, fact, you no, like, 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 some, like, some, like some of his songs are cool, but then then he'll be like, he says a dumb like, I went put my shoes on, walked to the door. Oh, come on. <laughs> What, 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 what the hell are you singing about, man? What are you singing about, bro? I can't stand like I like normal and his normal song. They think they finna charm their way out of this, cause you you y'all laughing and carrying on a little real extra right now. You just like, yeah, maybe we be his friend, he'll have some sympathy towards us. He might do. But you definitely need to learn a lesson, man. Don't do that again. I don't care if he, he ain't put on his shoes, because that's what you said. You said, he said, I wanted to come. I said, yes. Why you ain't put on your shoes? You the adult. You the parent. You should have said, put on your shoes. Come on, let's go. You could have still smoked your little, your little blunt over there with your mama. But have him over there in your eyesight. Come on, now. Story. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. 
just had a damn write a book. I don't want to have that shit on the damn song. It don't even sound right. You know what I mean? I was cracking up listening to that, though. He's not putting shoes on. My alarm clock went off. I hit snooze. Come on, bro. I don't want to hear that shit. Yes. <laughs> that's crazy. But, yeah, not, but that's how this new song is. Oh, like, man, 20, so I ain't even going to listen to it then. It's 20 minutes long, though. Yeah, like, no I'm way. Pregnant, but it basically just told, like, how they played them. Now, like, him, one, him and, uh, what's his name, Mr. Big, man. They, them cats sound like an yeah, oh, hour-long yeah. song about that. Yeah. Guy. But I do know R. Kelly's a musical genius. That y'all used to be sliding back in the day, though. Yeah. And they really played him lie. because they know the man is dyslexic, can't read. You know what I'm saying? They had him sign and all kind of paperwork. He don't even know what he's signing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was wrong. Like, he admit he did what he did. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But y'all ain't have to do it like that. Come on, did y'all do Elvis what? like that when he married that 14 year old girl? Right. What about Tony, Tony, Tony? They, hey, they made a whole song about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Y'all wasn't after all. Yeah. Michael Jackson, anybody else that guy accused me. Right, right. right. Y'all didn't do them as bad as you did R. Kelly. People still love R. Kelly. Are you Keith Sr.? Yeah. Here's the deal, all right? You're going to get a ticket to your children, okay? I am not going to what we call is a rule six, where we remove the child from the home, okay? Since Keith Sr., the father, is here, he can take the kid, all right? You're going to get a ticket. Julian is here breaking out windows, right? Which is why you didn't remember uh, yourself. Your arrived in a red key, right? I asked you that when you told me you didn't remember. Said you have warrants. So we're gonna find out right now. No, yes, begging to appeal out of the city. She has been. Okay, so KPS, can you fax those over? What is that? Put it on the state or something local. Well, I was going to write it. Well, I don't even know. So, you got to go to court. So, I was just going to write you a ticket and let you stay here and remove the child from home to the car. But you have to get a piece of it. You got to stand on up. She have shoes. Can you grab her some shoes? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, well, you got your things on. So, I don't know what's good enough. There. So. You understand what's going on, right? Yes, but... I can't help you, Lawrence. She'll be all right. Yeah, she'll probably... The funny part about it, you wouldn't even be going through none of this right now. Nothing about no warrant or anything like that. Not, not at that night. Not that night. You wouldn't have had to worry about none of that if you would have just had your child with you and not left him home alone. When you get out, don't blame the child because it wasn't his fault. He was scared. He did what he supposed to do. He was scared. He he wanted. He needed help. He was. He didn't know what to do. But you can do better. Be better. I hope they make her do like some mandatory um parenting classes or something, which that should be like one like common sense, not the not leave your child home alone. At five years old. Mm. I get that tomorrow morning. That ain't gonna try on. At least it's not Friday. Right Even though you ain't going to jail for that right now. Everything else is going on. Hmm? They should go to court tomorrow, right? Yeah, they'll probably rehearse the video room in there. What is this tomorrow? Wednesday. Wednesday. I think they're doing great videos. Come on. 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 You gotta hang the phone up. We're gonna handcuff you. Don't make it worse Hello? than it has to be. Okay. Stop. Call your mom. You hear me? Alright. The child's mother, 21 year old Connor Matt. Ms. Matthews, come on, we we gotta do better. I know this is gonna be Elmo for your baby daddy too. If y'all ain't if y'all ain't on good terms right now, this is gonna be definitely Elmo for him. Oh, you don't left our child. Da, 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 da. Come on now, just just don't let it happen again. That's it's so simple. Like you should really 
Think of your child's life as it's real precious. That That's how I look at it. I love all my kids, and I never want nothing to happen to them. Definitely, if something was to happen to them under my watch when I just wasn't being responsible, that, I, don't, I don't know how I can live with that. I don't know how I can live with that. That'll weigh on my conscience so hard. I hope that they do put you like some mandatory parenting classes because you as a child having a child your mind probably went not all the way there yet because you thought that was just oh I was just a second why you ready to yell at the child it wasn't his fault he was scared he was scared I hope you do better man like I ain't trying to judge you or like talk down bad on you but that was that was a bad move though that was a bad move but you could change you could change and show that man a good life Till next time. Yes, sir.